Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. So today I'm sharing with you guys all my little secrets on how I edit my Instagram photos. So this video is kind of a follow up to how I take my Instagram photos. So I mainly use two apps to edit my Instagram photos. And those are Facetune, of course, and Lightroom. I feel like everyone uses those. Before we jump in, make sure you're following my Instagram. It is just SorrelWJ, exactly the same as my YouTube. I've actually already edited this one, but I only did it for the purpose of my last Instagram video. So I'm going to redo it. I go into my presets, and then on here you'll see a ton of presets. But on this photo, the one I'm going to be using is Barca New. And this is one I made myself. So this is what it looks like before, after. So as you can see, it just really makes it bit lighter brighter it makes me a little bit more tan what I'm gonna do is I go in and I'll edit the colors so I'm gonna go into light uh, no sorry color might bring that luminance a little bit further down and take the saturation up a little bit just to give myself a bit more color I'm gonna turn the sharpening down a little bit because it was quite high on that I might tone the blue down a little bit I don't know which blue it's gonna be this one. I just play around with all the colours and stuff until I'm happy with it and honestly that looks fine to me. How I made this preset is to get it like white, a little tip if you want your photos like white is just to turn that luminance all the way up. Can you see the difference it did there? It's like, I don't know why I just had it on. There we go, 50 I had it on. So that is a little tip if you do like, you know, like backgrounds. Now we're going into face tune what i like to do is i like to detail my eyes a lot so i've clipped the detail tool and i'll just detail them like that yep i like that and sometimes i'll go in with the whiten tool and just whiten up the what is that bit of your eye called i'll patch out any spots and just smooth a little bit over where like on my chin here i'm just Oh, we got a little bit too smooth there. Facetune, do you remember that awful update Facetune had and it made like the tones, like when you put it on, like it literally expand, like it goes everywhere when you put the tones on now. Facetune, please go back to your old version because I miss her. As you can see, I have this. I'm gonna try patch this out. So all the patch tool does basically is if you had like a spot here, you can take from like here on your head and patch it over so it disappears. You already see this was gonna be really hard just because I do have that hair there. I'm gonna try do this like all the way down it and we'll see how that looks. That top bit doesn't actually look too bad so what I'm gonna do now is obviously I've got to sort that bottom bit out but just smooth this over a little bit. Who's really gonna be zooming in on that anyway like to be fair some people might. I'm gonna finish patching this up but I think you'll get the gist of patching now. That is pretty much all of that kind of stuff on here. This is like one of my this honestly like changes your photo so I go into filters this is just a normal page tune by the way lighting lighter and I bring it down to like that and then you can even leave it like that but what I like to do is wipe and then I just wipe over myself because I like to have a nice brighter background because obviously I've just like up the luminance and stuff like that um so I don't then want to make myself a bit more brighter so look at the difference in the background it literally just get rid gets rid of all of that greyness that is there we've left a little bit there and anywhere that you've kind of accidentally taken it off you can just apply it back on such a simple step i always used to get the white and tool and then white in my backgrounds but this is so 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 much better i think it looks so much more natural so that is when we uploaded it into facetune and that is it after. Because it's taken on my camera, I don't actually think it will fit into the Instagram crop. Yeah, this photo doesn't fit into my Instagram crop, as you can see. Um, if I want the magazine in, it cuts my head off. If I want my head in, it cuts half the magazine off. Now, this is fine because I have a little tool. So you're gonna wanna, get, gonna wanna download Snapseed and then tools, and you're gonna wanna go to X band now this is where the magic happens so what you're going to, want to do with this is you want to take it up and out so it fits in with that instagram ratio you don't expand it width way as well you just end up with a really 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 long photo which still won't fit voila but 
we're not finished yet. Can you see there's two of the same bits. Photo eraser. You can also download, is it retouch? I've seen that a lot on TikTok, but I just have this one. And I think it does it pretty much exactly the same thing. If you take this tool and you can just go like that and press that play button. There you go, it's gone. So you can keep going over until you're happy with it. I've just basically gone back in with that and just like retouched it on that app until like I was completely happy with it. There we go, that is a photo ready to go. You can see like there's a little bit of like a blur over there, but you can always just go back into Facetune and try that light at all again, because that normally does get rid of it. So I'll probably do that actually. So just back onto Lightroom quickly, I took these photos and I actually made a new little preset. Here we go, disposable. And it literally just like makes it look like a vintage photo and it's so, so cool. I think this on like Paris photos or something like that would just look so, so sick. And you can like change the greens. Basically what I did with this one was just play around with the curve. So like the green and that and the blue. I just play around with them pretty much. So you can see what they're like there if you wanna try and copy that. And then I just played around with like all of the other colors. So yeah, I think that on like flash, pictures of flash as well would look, would look really, really cool. I'm thinking maybe to start using like when I start going for like different themes and stuff, using that one. I was just bored yesterday and having a little play around. So that is how I edit my Instagram photos. I do the same for selfies. So I'll like whiten up the background in my selfies, do exactly the same, the details, um, smooth, pat. Even on photos now, like you can see, I still play around with the colors. Like no preset will work for every single photo. That lighter filter on like Facetune, sorry, is just a game changer. It is just the best thing ever. It's so, in my opinion anyway, so much better than the whitening tool. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to my channel, turn on my bell notification, and you'll be notified whenever I upload so you don't miss any more of my videos. Thank you so, 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 so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.